Hello everyone, this is Connor Hoffman from Wombat Combat Pictures, and today I am doing another how to build, this time on Helrix, the leader of the Order of Matanui. If you want to see more of Helrix, go and check out her Order of Matanui Files video I have uploaded not too long ago, and I'm going to try and keep this video as short and sweet as possible, so let's begin with the legs. Okay, for the legs, these are the parts you'll need. Uh, feel free to pause the video and gather everything you see here. For this, you'll need two of what you see. Uh, I've only taken about one, and well, let's get started. For the foot, you're going to take this piece and your hand connector bit, stick it in there as usual. Then you're going to take this piece and this piece, slide them in together, and put a four-long axle all the way through, and cap off the ends with washers, and on the top as an added little detail take this uh, middle stud plate, whatever you want to call it, stick that on the Technic piece, and snap that in the foot, creates a nice aquatic looking foot. Okay, next you'll take this, uh, next for the lower leg you'll take this silver metro foot Add in the greebles as shown, two Lego studs on either side, and a bushing over the axle. You'll need a dark blue and Nyko leg, and these two three long pins. Take one of them, stick them in the back top hole, and take the other one, stick it in the front bottom hole, like so. Then you're going to want to build this out of Lego pieces. It's just a one by three curved slope piece and this fancy slope piece and two one-third size plates. Stack them all together. They don't necessarily have to be these plates. It just needs to fit in the Anika leg like that and fill, fill up the back. Next you'll take the metro foot and just snap it in the front like so. And that creates simple armor. Snap the foot in and then now for my handy dandy upper and upper leg and upper arm design using Hero Factory armor. This isn't necessarily my design, but I was the one that created it myself when I was building this. Like I didn't take this inspiration from anyone else. Um, basically you'll just need this construction twice with hand connectors, this double pin doodad, and a single ball joint and a too long axle. Snap them all together like so, and then that works as a much thicker, much fuller looking Hero Factory bone, basically. And for this leg specifically, not the other leg, you'll need this little doohickey, and snap that on the back, like so. That's where the sword, where her water blade will connect as a hilt, later on. Snap that onto her knee, and there you have her legs. Next we'll do the arms. Okay, and moving on to the arms. Once again, this is a mirrored design with which you'll need two of, and I have one taken apart for you. This one has one piece in it, again, that isn't the same as the other arm, but they're practically the same, yet mirrored. So, for the hand we have the simple uh, Gringat, classic Gringat hand design. Basically, if you don't know how to build that yet, what are you doing trying to mock? I'm only kidding. Some people don't even like this hand design, but you know, I think it works. So yeah, there's her hand, very simple. Uh, for her lower arm, you'll need a dark blue Rakshi leg. This piece came on Gedunka, as a lot of good fancy dark uh, dark blue pieces came on, and you'll need these pieces you see here. Uh, for this you'll take this piece, snap it in the side of the Kina, lit, or the Kina armor, and then put this bushing in on the other side to fill in the other gap. Then set that down and take this, stick that in the inside of her arm like that, and then take this stud and stud pin, put that in the middle to hold it down, and you'll take this piece, finally, 
slide it through there, and then put the washer on the other side and push it all the way down, sort of like that, not all the way flush there, but almost. And then you'll take the Kina, Kina armor piece and just stick it in the back like that. And then there's her lower arm, and then for her upper arm is once again the same design I just showed you how to build with the legs, only with a different colored ball joint right there. The one I was using on there broke, so I replaced them with dark blue ones. Once again, snap the Hero Factory armor on and click everything together. This, by the way, is where the shield connects. And now you have build it again, mirror it, don't copy the shield connector piece unless you want to, and keep both keep the shield on either side, but this is how I built it, so and this is how I'm showing you. So next we'll move on to the waist. Alright, these are the parts you'll need for the waist. Feel free to pause and gather your materials. And let's move on. This one actually uses some rarer parts, such as this that came on some of the new Bionicle 2015 sets, as well as this Technic piece, which I have no idea where I got this, but I have one, so I used it. Um, let's just begin, here we go. I'll take two of these, plug them in the back of this construction I made here. This is the lower waist, the lower waist, the waist. <laughs> and then we'll take that piece, shove it all the way through, and then set that down, we'll take this, this armor piece that came on Vampra, and I believe uh, several other Baraki characters. Assemble it like so, and then snap it in the back on the pin, and in like that. Then we'll take these two pieces, put them together like so and slide that down the front and then uh, through that hole we'll take that put that there and then take this and assemble it together like that a very compact waist design that fills in pretty much all the gaps uh, next we'll move on to the torso the so so complicated torso not really it's only kind of complicated. It's based off my simple torso design, but you'll see, I guess. Alrighty, here's the torso design and the parts you'll need to build it. Um, first I'm going to show you how to build my super simple copy-paste easy torso design that I've used on several of my mops, mocks, not mops, mocks including Raxus, which you haven't seen yet in Order of Matanui Files, um, Name Unknown, which you haven't seen in Order, Order of Matanui Files, Stuttering, or Gameth, which you have seen. Believe it or not, Gameth uses this torso design, or a form of it, I should say. So let's begin. First, you'll need these... Wait, limb pieces? What are those doing in a torso? Well, you'll see. First, kink it up like that. And that's how you'll get your torso design. Then for the next piece you will need this Hero Factory piece that came on the Gen 1 sets. The Gen 1, the Wave 1, 1 1.0, whatever you want to call it, sets. Then we'll take these two and we'll combine them. You'll see how here in a second. I ran out of space on my SD card. Get a bigger SD card when you're filming with a DSLR. Anyway, where we left off, we had these two pieces, and we were going to put them together. So I'll put that in like so. Take this piece, put that in the top. Uh, next, you will take, you'll set that down, and you'll take these two five long pieces with the caps on the ends. Slide them into a three long Technic lift arm, and then put that in the back of this armor piece, flip it around, connect this in through here, like so, and then flip them around that way. Alright, 
Now, since we've arranged those parts like that, we just slide this on in like that. And then take these constructions here and stick them on the inside of the metro limbs and then push them all the way in so that they connect to the connectors on the inside. Oop. Like that. Yeah. Here we go. And then now you'd connect your waist down here, your arms over here, some shoulder armor here, and then the neck to this piece somehow. And that's the simple custom torso design that I designed. The design that I designed. For this specific build though, we need to add some extra stuff. So let's push this out a little bit. Pull this out. Sure hope you can't hear my nephew over the camera audio shouting downstairs. Anyway, slide these pieces in through the back there and that's where we'll connect Helrix's wings. Wings. Now I want some hot wings. Anywho, tangent aside, let's put this back together. Now that we have those together. And we're gonna set this down and move on to the more complicated construction. Actually, let's throw these on real quick. This is her shoulder armor, not what you thought they were going to be. You horrible, horrible Bionicle community, you. So there you go, shoulder armor the way Nuva armor was supposed to be. Uh, anyway, let's take this and snap that together. We'll need that later. And we'll take these and put these together. This is another one of those rare pieces that came from Bionicle 2015. This piece, when I saw it the first time, I thought this was gonna be super useful, but I've only used this once. So maybe if I get a bigger quantity of them, they'll be more useful, but that's all I've used that piece there for, so far. So we'll connect those together, and then we'll take this, this is where her neck will connect, and slide that in there. And then next we'll take these pieces, these three pieces. Uh, this is just a couple of those super useful pieces in blue, connecting to a blue pin and a two long axle, and this fancy Technic piece. And then we'll put this together in like that. And next we'll slide this down these two axles. And once that's in there, we'll take this and connect that into there, like so. And it will connect back to this piece over here, like that. And it creates this big old block of Technic pieces. Next we'll take this piece and we'll add that in there and this is why that piece swivels so it can go backwards a little bit and create that nice little angled armor piece in there. And that gets there, gets in there nice and secure. Uh, I was supposed to put this rubber band in there earlier but I forgot so let's just... You'll need to run this rubber band under the neck piece. You know what? We run the rubber band under the neck piece like that. And then put that back together. Then we'll take these two armor pieces. We have a stud on a pin on the on one and then a th or a one and a half long pin on the other side and we just connect those to the front. And then wrap, ooh, careful. And then you just wrap the rubber band around that one pin, like that, and then pull it back. And down, like, not like that, <laughs> like this, it, like this. Frustrations of mocking, like that. There you go. See how that goes? Grab the other side and pull it down and around, and like that. And then straighten them out. And there you go. There's her upper torso. 
I guess that's what I meant to say earlier with the lower waist thing. I meant the lower torso or the waist. Speaking of which, we can just go ahead and snap that in. And that's how you build her waist. Er, her torso! Yes! Success! Alright, now time for the head. This one's going to be working some fancy rubber band magic. So I'll let you get a... a semi-close-up shot of it. Anyway, basically there's a white rubber band wrapping up around a washer on a three long pin. It's going up and then through this Technic piece around the outside and then all through some Borak eyes so that she can have the Borak eyes inside the Hordika head over here and very compact as well. So you're going to want to keep keep that together and for this I had to use like a pin to actually like pull the rubber band through everything that's how tight it is so that's why I didn't want to take it apart and do it on camera because that's very complicated anyway my battery is almost dead so let's continue uh, let's start with this we'll take this and um, put that put this connection right up in front of it and connect it using the very useful pieces on either side then we'll take washers cap off the ends of those two long pins because they're too long then we'll take another four long axle stick a extender onto one side and then slide that through the center of all of it and out the back actually the extender goes on the other side on this side we put this piece put it on like that and then take this nice little tri piece Put that there. Next, we'll take, uh, we'll finally take the Hordika helmet or mask or whatever you want to call it from Nokama. Stick it over the top and then line it up with the top of this Technic piece. Slide it in, and the Borak eyes should snap into place as well as everything else. And then you take another four long pin, slide that all the way through and then cap it either end off with a washer and then finally take Kina's mask helmet whatever you want to call it and then on the one connector on Kina's mask just put that in the extender and it should snap over the end of Nokama Hordika's head and then there you have the Helric's head a very complicated design uh, and I'll show you how to connect it to the torso as well Basically, this pin needs to connect together like so. And I, I recently changed this from her original version so she'd have extra neck articulation. And then just slide that in all the way through. Poke it out a little bit in the front so that it doesn't stick out so far at the back. And then that's how she gets all her range of neck articulation is because it's almost like working like a piston. All right, moving on. The wings aren't even hard. This is how you build it. Take this, hand connector, uh, Hero Factory bone, extender piece, single ball joint. Take Nuva shoulder, bam. Take wing, bam. You'll need two. And once again, I put it on the wrong way. And there you go, there's the wings. Take the torso. Then obviously just stick here we go. Stick the uh, ball joint on the axle. These pin or these axles sticking out is where the shield will connect on her back, and this hole right here is where the staff will connect. So now I'll show you how to build those. Ooh. All right, time for her mace and her water blade. The water blade is ridiculously simple. I don't even need to explain it. You'll just connect everything together like that. The staff, we have a Rakshi Gurak uh, blade here. A seven long axle with a silver tube on it. Connect those there. And the Mata neck piece with the pin on it. And we take a five 
long axle with another tube on it. And then we take the Nokama Hordika uh, weapon, stick it on the end, and it, that's her staff. And moving on to the shield. The shield is also really simple. We have two four-link bionicle chains here. And then we have these two constructions right here, which we will need. Then we have these two details here. This is just a, a little gear, a blue pin, and a chain piece. And this is a Baraki eye with a chain piece and a stud pin. And then we just take this new Paru shield, click it together. And then on the back we add these. Sticking through like so. Like that and like that. And then on the front, on one side, we'll add the gear greeble on the top, and on the other side, we'll add the Baraki eye greeble on the bottom. And then back on the front, we'll put the two chains on, these two pins sticking out the front. And that's how you do the shield. Just little details to make it more custom. And on the back, you'll see this is where we connect this to her arm. And then, if we wanted to connect it to her back, on those two axles that I showed you before, that were poking out from our wings, we just put them in there. And that'll hold her shield on her back. Finally, let's show you how to assemble everything. So, all your weapons and stuff. All the Mox limbs, and the torso, wing, and head construction we've put together so far. On the waist, we'll put the legs, like so, and then we'll put her water blade on her hip. Next we'll click on her arm, right up here, and then on the other side too. like this and then let's just put her shield on her arm so this just goes on like so and then I usually put her staff in her hand like that and that how you build Helrix. And let's see if we can get our Oop. heavy camera. Here we go. And as usual, guys, that is how you build Helrix. Once again, if you guys do anything related to this mock, build a design, build a mock, build your own version of the mock. Not a Helrix mock, I mean of this specific mock. Go ahead and po make a video of it, post a link to it in the comments, and I'll add it at the end of this video as an annotation, and just to keep a record of who I have inspired by my video. Also, if you want to request more how to build videos from some of my mocks, you can go ahead and uh, check out my Order of Mononui Files series. I have a good portion of my mocks uploaded to that series already, and more to come every two weeks. Or if you're not patient, you can go check out my mock pages where I have some of my older mocks that I haven't made Order of Mocks and Leaf Files videos for yet on there. So you can always give that a look. The link for that is usually in the description of every video. And without further ado, I think that is it. Go ahead and leave a like, a favorite if you want. I mean, this video is probably going to be helpful, so in some way, shape, or form. So, just let me know what you think, I guess. Well, thanks for watching, and have a good day.